Halloween, New York. But will Mother Nature rain on our parade tonight? We're not trick or treaters. Let's get an update from AccuWeather's Brian Thompson on just what the night will bring. Brian. Yeah, Lori, for the trick or treaters, I don't think it'll be all that bad this evening. It's going to be pretty mild. Temperatures will be up near 60 degrees. Uh, and there's really not a lot of rain around at the moment. We have some showers north of the city, but most of the area is dry. And watch this cluster of showers south of west of Philadelphia. It's moving off toward the uh, north and east. That'll probably get into parts of New Jersey in the 7 o'clock hour and maybe uh, toward the city closer to 8. Uh, I think for the Halloween parade, there will likely be some rain to contend with, especially as the evening goes on. And so we'll see the shower become more numerous. It might be a steadier rain developing until later tonight. Lori? Okay, Brian's going to keep his eye on the radar for us. As for the Village Halloween Parade, a lot of people starting to gather now. The parade kicks off at 7 o'clock. Tintin, wind reporter Roger Stern has a preview. It's the 49th time they've done this, and every year the parade's artistic director, Gene Fleming, tries to keep it fresh. This year, the parade is going to be led by an all-women brass band, which is really great. The parade goes up 6th Avenue from King Street to West 15th. Tens of thousands of marchers expected, many more on the sidewalks watching. This year's Grand Marshal, the Brooklyn United Marching Band, which trains young people in music. We're going to be in our band uniform for the most part. We're adding some, some LED lights and some extra flair. That's band leader Ty Brown on Newsline with Bridget Quinn. Roger Stern, 1010 Winds News on 92.3 FM. Some 100 New York City streets in all five boroughs are now closed to car traffic for the Trick or Streets program. So little ghosts and goblins can have a safe time trick-or-treating tonight. The streets will remain closed to cars until 8 o'clock tonight. More than four dozen women who have uterine cancer say they've waited long enough. The cancer is still not covered under the 9-11 Health Fund. Tintin Winch reporter Glenn Chuck with the details. Cheryl Hall tells me she continues to suffer and has bills piling up. She's waiting for this final approval to make sure that her past and future treatments for this uterine cancer are covered by the 9-11 Health Plan. We had like a full hysterectomy and they checked for, uh, you know, my lymph nodes to see if those were cancerous and everything. And I had to go through chemo. Oh my God, can I just tell you, that's the worst thing you ever want to go through. That's the pain that you feel even now, right now. Paul tells me if this was a disease impacting men, there would not have been a holdup. One shock, 10 10 wins on 92 3 FM in Lower Manhattan. Wednesday's time, 5 46. New Yorkers have been taking advantage of early voting in big numbers. The city's Board of Elections says nearly 97,000 voters cast their ballots on Saturday and Sunday. Manhattan had the highest numbers with 32,000 early votes, followed by Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, and Staten Island. Early voting in New York continues through Sunday with the general election a week from tomorrow. And as we head into this final week of campaigning, 1010 Wins reporter Julia Papa checked in on the New York governor's race today. What is she? What a shame! Supporters of Kathy Hochul, who pointed out Republican rival Lee Zeldin rejecting gun safety measures or not voting at all in Congress, saying it was campaign. And don't come here today and tell us that you've got a tough on crime plan that's just soft and squishy on guns. Zeldin spoke to our Bridget Quinn on Newsline, and he says Hochul is ignoring assaults with knives, subway pushes. And the only crimes she wants to talk about are crimes committed with guns. He says school safety agents, and in some cases teachers, need to have guns in schools. Hochul calls that insanity. Julia Papa, 1010 Wins in Upper Manhattan. 1010 Wins election coverage is sponsored by AARP New York. Get voting information you can trust at AARP org slash NY votes. Wednesday's time 547. An update today from a former SNL star who was attacked on the street in the village. That story is next. Gabriel Byrne has just arrived on Broadway in what critics are calling an event-worthy performance. The Chicago Tribune reads, Walking with Ghosts is deeply honest and courageous work. It will make you appreciate the wonder that life and art can bring. Cheers, the New York Sun. The Daily Beast calls Walking with Ghosts moving and hilarious. The audience was utterly rapt. And the New York Times sums it up.
up saying simply, who wouldn't want to spend an hour or two with Gabriel Byrne? Get tickets now to Walking with Ghosts on Broadway through December 30th only. Visit GabrielByrneOnBroadway.com. In this November's election, flip your ballot over to vote yes or no on these questions from the Racial Justice Commission, adding a statement of values that promotes justice and equity for all New Yorkers, creating an office to support and advance those values, and measuring the true cost of living. All three of these questions are based on input from communities like yours. So be sure to vote. Your vote will help guide the future of our city. To learn more, visit nyc.gov slash racial justice. That's nyc.gov slash racial justice. Paid for by the city of New York. For all your printing needs this holiday, Staples has you covered. I need custom printed holiday cards for my one of a kind business. Staples has you covered. It's beginning to look a lot like I need custom party invites. Fast. I need cards for everyone who gave me a hand this year without spending an arm and a leg. Staples has you covered with personalized holiday cards and invites. And now save 40% on custom holiday cards and invitations. For everything you need printed, go to Staples, the working and learning store. In store and online at 1217. Exclusions and restrictions apply. My heart was racing just making spaghetti. I could have waited to tell my doctor, but I didn't wait. I was short of breath just reading a book. I could have delayed telling my doctor, but I didn't wait. They told their doctors and found out they have atrial fibrillation, a condition which makes it about five times more likely to have a stroke. If you have one or more of these symptoms, irregular heartbeat, heart racing, chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, or lightheadedness, this is no time to wait. Contact your doctor. Brought to you by bristol Myers Squibb and Fox. Wednesday's time, 549. Comedian Chris Redd says he's healing fast and resting up. The former Saturday Night Live castmate was attacked in front of the comedy cellar in the village last week when a guy walked up to him and punched him. And what police say was an unprovoked attack, he was treated at Bellevue. There have been no arrests. Redd posted a statement to his Instagram story saying he'll back up, he'll be back up and performing real soon. Wednesday's time, 550. Another driveway robbery in Nassau County has residents on edge today. The family, I'm told, had just come home to Whitman Road here in Saddle Rock around 11 p.m. Saturday from visiting a relative's house when two men, one carrying a knife, threatened the husband and wife in their driveway, stealing their Gucci watches and cell phones. Their children, 7 and 12 years old, watched the entire crime. Neighbors tell me. Everybody's talking about the have to put more lights in here, put in security, guards. It's pretty scary. One thing for an adult to go through this, but for, an, for a child, is devastating. And driveway robberies also recently took place in Brookville. The police chief, Kenneth Black, tells me if you are being followed home... Certainly don't go home. You know, drive to the nearest police station. Sophia Hall, 1010 wins on 92.3 FM on Whitman Road in Saddle Rock. Wednesday's time, 551. Time now for traffic and transit with Greg Rice. Well, the ride at this hour getting you out of the Bronx and into Queens. We have not seen nights this bad in very, very long. Queensbound Throgs Neck, blame it all on emergency construction work right as you get over to the Queens side. Only the right lane barely squeaks by. Southbound New England Thruway is just awful right now from Co-op City. And the inbound George eastbound side of the Cross Bronx Expressway, that's a very tough ride from right around the George Washington. Washington Bridge toll readers all the way across. 45 minutes on the upper, 30 minutes on the inbound lower of the George, and then you still have to deal with the entire Cross Bronx and the approach to the Throgs Neck Bridge. If you're thinking about riding off the Throgs Neck and going to the Whitestone, yeah, you and everybody else. RFK isn't great. It's not even good, but it's the best you've got out of the Bronx into Queens. Outbound George, northbound west side, sluggish from the 150s, and that's the best there. Lincoln's about 10 to 15 either way. Holland, 30 in from the Skyway, better off the New York Bay. Outbound side of the Holland, no more than about 10 minutes. Long Island Expressway west of the Cross Island, crash involving a truck. You got the left lane out in a mess from Shelter Rock Road, still with a bad crash on the BQE. That's eastbound after the Brooklyn Bridge, and that exacerbates a bad ride back to the inbound Gowanus and the Belt Parkway merge. Traffic is sponsored by Good Care Agency. Good Care Agency is hiring employees with HHA and PCA certifications. Also, CDPAP, high salary bonuses, paid vacation, insurance, and 401k. Call 718-635-3535 or visit goodcareagency.com. I'm Greg Rice. Our next report at 601-1010.
10 winds on 92.3 FM. Now the AccuWeather 4-day forecast. Here is meteorologist Brian Thompson. Well, clouds will consider to thicken up lorries ahead into early this evening. Uh, still looks like uh, for a lot of the tri-states, uh, a lot of the time for trick-or-treating is going to be mostly dry. The earlier you can do it, the better. Uh, as we do have uh, a cluster of showers west of Philadelphia that's moving up to the north and east, especially across New Jersey. Uh, we could certainly start to see some showers by the 7 o'clock hour. And uh, in the city, though, probably going to take closer uh, take until closer to 8 o'clock for these uh, showers to arrive. Uh, so certainly have the rain gear handy uh, for trick-or-treating. You might not need it, uh, but uh, good to have it just in case. So we'll have a better chance for some more numerous showers and even a steadier rain late this evening into the overnight hours. So 57 in the city tonight, closer to 50 in the suburbs. Now tomorrow, mostly cloudy, quite mild for the start of November with a couple of showers, especially in the morning. High tomorrow, 68. Clearing out tomorrow night, low 56. Then more sun than clouds Wednesday, a warm afternoon, high near 70. Still unseasonably warm Thursday and Friday with some sunshine. High temperatures will be in the upper 60s. 63 degrees right now. It's mostly cloudy in Midtown. We're going down to 57. I'm back with the meteorologist Brian Thompson on New York's weather station. 1010 winds on 92.3 FM. Well, there you have it. The uh, news for this special edition, this special Halloween night edition. And I guess I can say it too, right? Since I have a YouTube channel that is broadcasting the news. You give me 10 minutes and I'll give you the news. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Be safe out there trick-or-treating. And we'll see you on the next video.